Welcome back friends. Today we're gonna to be doing a grinder comparison. Today we're gonna to be comparing these two grinders in the Fellow Ode to the Option O Legome Mini. Now both of these coffee grinders find themselves around that $300 mark US at $299 for the Fellow Ode, $320 for the Legome Mini, and a $55 upgrade for that 48 millimeter burr version. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing uh, mostly the 48 millimeter burr to the Fellow Ode because kind of like it better. And if you want more information on why I do, uh, go watch the full review on the Lego Mini. I'll link that above up here. And I have a full video on the Fellow O, which I'll link down in the description. Uh, that'll give full context on these grinders because I don't want to go too in depth of things I've already talked about. But a lot of people want to know which out of these two grinders would I recommend? Which would I choose? And honestly, they're both pretty fantastic. I think you can't go wrong with either one of these grinders. But this might be one of the most requested videos I've probably ever had. After reviewing the Lego Mini, a lot of people wanted to know how does this grinder compare to a flat burr grinder in the Fellow Ode that's around the same price range. So hopefully by the end of today's video, you'll have a better understanding of which grinder is better for you because both of these are fantastic options, but depending on your situation, there's definitely a grinder that might be better for your case. So let's dive into this, but before we do, I actually wanna give away the Fellow Ode to one of you. I'm feeling kind of generous and honestly, it's a way to justify that white Ode. So I'm gonna give this one away to one of you. Normally I give it away to one of my patrons and I've been incredibly generous to my patrons over the past six months. Haven't done a lot of giveaways here, so let's do that. The only thing you have to do to win this fellow Ode, anybody watching this video right now, is like the video down below, be a subscriber to this channel if you aren't already, turn on notifications if you would too, and watch this video in its entirety because I'm gonna ask a question that you can answer in the comments down below. That's all you gotta do and you can win yourself a fellow Ode. And while I have you here, before we get started, let me know in the comments which of these two grinders interests you more. Also, this video is sponsored by Standard, but we'll talk about them later on. Now, while I'm cupping these and waiting for these to brew, uh, let's talk about the build quality of these grinders. Well, the Fellow Ode is a fully metal grinder that uses a few plastic pieces, but definitely doesn't feel cheap by any means. It's pretty good, and I think it looks pretty good too. I mean, subjective, of course, but I think it is a pretty nice looking grinder. You know, it's small, it's compact, it's fairly quiet. It has nice features like a PID that shuts off when it feels like there's no tension in the burrs and, and nice little features that, that Fellow's done pretty well. Obviously they're focusing on single dosing with a small hopper and, and I like that. Definitely bonus points here. I think overall the build quality is great on the Fellow Ode. But I definitely gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the Legome Mini. This is definitely a more expensive experience, you know, obviously starting at 320 and going up to 370-ish. You can definitely see that Legome didn't take any shortcuts here. The only issue I kind of have with the build quality is in its power brick, which seems to have this giant like Apple-esque looking power brick on the end. And uh, obviously that's to make this smaller, like this normally would be inside here. So not an issue, but depending on your kitchen, this might be a situation. The adjustment dials are very different on these two. The Ode has a big dial on the front that is stepped. Each step has a nice satisfying click to it where the Legome Mini is a fully stepless system. This has its pros and its cons. The cons are that it's kind of hard to replicate exactly where you've been uh, unless you really take your time. Where this you can quickly swap between brew methods or grind sizes rather. This one, it's stepless. Now the pro with that would be that you can do espresso or you can finely tune in your coffee. And because it is capable for espresso, at least the 48 millimeter burr version, it's really nice. And I've compared it to something like the Niche Zero, where that also has a stepless system and it's really nice to use. Now, in just a second, I'm gonna have my wife come in here and swap these. We're gonna do a blind taste test. But let's also talk about capacity. This has an 80 gram hopper and this has a 20 gram hopper. Now, if you wanna brew big batches, you can do it, but you're gonna have to it's just, that won't be a fun time. It's just not gonna be a good experience with the Legome Mini. If you plan to do lots of big batches, I wouldn't get this grinder. I would get the Oat. This grinder is great for bigger batches. As long as you don't need more than 80 grams, for most people, you probably won't. It also grinds incredibly fast, about three times the speed as the Legome Mini. This is a fairly slow grinder, and one of the cons that I definitely have with it, and this one's fairly quick. Now, for some people, that's not an issue. They would trade off being a slower grinder for good quality and the ability to do an espresso, uh, but that's definitely something to be noted that if you wanna have a faster grinder, 
the old zip. But an important reality is that this one cannot do espresso at all. The fellow Ode actually has an issue with how fine it can go, at least out of the box. Uh, it's a criticism that I had in my review and you can be seen all over the internet. Often, even at its lowest point here at one, which is what I ground at for my cup, Sometimes this just isn't fine enough for a single cup pour over like a V60. Now, if you're brewing Chemexes or batch brews or you're finding yourself brewing bigger pour overs, that's probably not gonna be an issue depending on the coffee that you brew. More often than not, I've had issues with the range on the Ode. And in fact, I've upgraded to the SSP Burrs, um, which I don't have in here right now, but they're an option that you can get. It's another $200-ish 200 to put new burrs in here. It increases the range produces great coffee too but then you're spending more money almost doubling the price of the ode some people really like that ability because it makes it a grinder that is comparable to grinders much more expensive than it but out of the box that is something to be noted the range is very limited on the Lagon menu you can brew espresso especially this 48 millimeter ver burr version now i haven't talked about the 38 millimeter burr version a lot so i'll give it some some light for a second don't brew espresso on this but it can brew some decent, good filter coffee. In fact, many people, most people will enjoy it, especially if you don't compare it to any other grinder. Side by side, I'll take the 48 every day, but if I didn't compare it to the 48, I think the cups it would produce are sweet, delicious, and I would definitely drink it every single day. Okay, let's test these out. I'm gonna have my wife come in here and swap these up. Okay, so Natasha, my wife, has just swapped these around. I have no idea what these are. Uh, let's see if I can guess. Okay. I'm gonna try this one one more time. Okay. So, this one here has a, a really well-rounded uh, acidity. It's got a lot of clarity. I can definitely taste uh, a lot of, of the flavors in the cup. Uh, this one here, this one's screaming a little bit more sweetness in the cup. Both are very good. I think this one, I think this one is the Legom. I basically put them back where they were in the beginning. So this one is the Legom. This one's this one. Um. <laughs> okay, so this one is the Legom. This one's the, the Ode, which I, I got right, which is awesome. So. Yeah, so I would say this, the flavors are, again, only if you're gonna compare them are you gonna notice the differences, but flappers are known to produce a lot of clarity, a lot of transparency, and, and lack some of the, like the complexity that a, like a conical would create. And and the best way to describe that is is if you were tasting something, it's it's very clear. It's It doesn't feel layered, it feels very one-dimensional, where a conical almost feels like a three-dimensional taste. And But it's complex, and sometimes you have to really search for what you're tasting for, but overall feels very good and blended and it just tastes good um, that's kind of what it's experiencing here so the fellow ode out of the box it produces fantastic coffee but lacks some of that range but flat burrs are an incredible offering the lego mini produces a different cup profile while their 48 millimeter is really good for a conical in my opinion and so it does lack some of the transparency that you'd find on these now if i was to put ssp burrs in this grinder here, um, it would be even more so. Like the SSPs have been a fantastic upgrade. And if you'd like me to do a video on that, let me know down below. Only really, unless you put them side by side, are you really gonna notice those things unless you've brewed with many different grinders before. Okay, so we're gonna get into my verdict in just one second and which one I would recommend to you. But before we do, let's give away this fellow Ode. If you wanna win this, all you have to do, this is all I'm asking you to do is do one act of kindness this week. One act of kindness, and I want you to write in the comments down right now what you're gonna do for somebody this week. It can be, I'm going to help my neighbor shovel the snow here in Canada, or it can be, I'm going to buy a coffee for the person behind me in the drive-through at the local cafe. Any act of kindness, I, I think kindness is so needed, especially in the time we're living in. I hope you guys are all safe out there. So obviously I can't police it and figure out if you're gonna do it, but hopefully we can have an integral system. So write down, down below, and every comment that's entered, as well as liking and subscribing this video, will be entered to win the fellow Ode. Simple as that. Let's get back to the video. Which grinder would I recommend? Uh, which would I say is a better option? 
this is completely dependent on your situation. Like I started off this video saying, now the fellow Ode is cheaper, keep that in mind, uh, but not by much, you know, $20 for the 38 built millimeter burr. And the one that I really am comparing it today, it's about $70 difference, give or take. Now, a couple things to be noted, the fellow Ode is readily available. You can find it anywhere, you know, anywhere that fellow products are sold, the Ode is available in the black and the white version. Now, the Lego Mini seems to have some stock issues, especially since the video I've posted and reviewing this, there's been a lot of interest. So depending on the time you're watching this video, it might be hard to find the Lego Mini, so you might not have an option. You might have to get the fellow Ode, but if you're willing to wait, if you're willing to wait for the grinder that you really want, this is a really good grinder. If you want a grinder that can brew espresso in that $300 price range, now, I've talked more about that. Again, go watch my video on that, but this is a grinder that can do that. You know, this is a low retention grinder. Uh, the retention on the fellow Ode is a little bit more, but still very impressive for a flat burr grinder. I would say both of these are low retention grinders and you should have no concerns there. The fellow Ode obviously lacks the range that this grinder does, uh, but if you're brewing big batches, this is a no brainer, go with the fellow Ode. If you're somebody who's single dosing, brewing small batches of coffee, you want something smaller, you want something maybe a little bit more, uh, less discreet for your brew bar, um, you only single dose, or you're doing small batches, maybe it's just brewing coffee for yourself, or you're just brewing coffee a few times a day, the Lego Mini is a fantastic option as long as you can find it in stock. The cups it produces are great, especially in this 48 millimeter burr. Right now, I, I really can't find a grinder around this price that I can recommend more if you're in that situation. Yes, I would probably pick the Lego Mini over the Fellow Ode if I only had one grinder. If I had an espresso grinder, I'd probably pick the Fellow Ode and I mean, I'd probably upgrade its burrs. I mean, I'm really excited for Fellow to come out with those, those newer burrs in the future with a greater range. Those aren't just out yet. Maybe when you're watching this video, that won't be an issue. If the newer burrs are out, disregard this because this is a great grinder, produces a lot of value. But if that's an issue for you, then the Lego Mini is the way to go. Now, knowing all of this and knowing which I would recommend depending on your situation, I would love to know which grinder resonates with you down in the comments below. Which one would you prefer out of these two? I'll be reading every single comment and responding to as many as possible. Now, before you go, I wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Standard Magazine. Now, Standard is a fantastic resource, a reading material that I've been reading absolutely almost daily. You know, every morning I wake up, I brew a cup of coffee. Rather than scrolling Instagram or Twitter, I love to open up a magazine. And that's where Standard Magazine comes in. This is a fantastic read that's all about specialty coffee. Now, right now I'm reading an awesome article on the history of coffee in art. And this is written by Noah Charney. And it's reads like this that in standard that really captivate me and also give me a passion for learning more about this amazing craft that we're all into. Now, not only do they have well illustrated and beautiful articles, but they also come with a sample of coffee from roaster around the world every single issue. And it's honestly an amazing experience to be able to try coffee from around the world that honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to buy otherwise because of shipping and realities like that. So if you want to check out Standard Magazine, I would highly recommend it. This is a sponsor that I love so dearly because this is something I use all the time. I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can check that out. You will get free international shipping or go to www.standardmag.com forward slash Kyle and you can find that there as well. Go check it out. Standard Magazine is an amazing read and thank you Standard so much for sponsoring this video. I love every single one of you. This has been an amazing year in coffee. This will be my last video in 2021. Uh, what an amazing experience has been with each one of you. I love you guys so, so much. What an experience. Uh, what an awesome time. I I'm so grateful. I really am. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and we will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.